Welcome to IDC 6175, Digital Rhetoric. This is a graduate level course at Kennesaw State University. My name is Dr. Jeannie Bohannon and I will be your professor in this course. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to IDC 6175 and to give you a brief screen tour of what to expect during our eight weeks together this summer. If you are enrolled in this class, you are enrolled in an eight-week fully online summer session that begins May 18th and ends on July 10th. I'd like to start with our home page so that you can see where to go when you need items at any time of the day. The first thing I'd like to show you is a general FAQ for the course. This is our water cooler discussion. Any issues you have with the course, uh, questions that you have or just general questions you have about the profession this is a good place to put those and I will be able to answer them as well as your colleagues in the course. Speaking of technical difficulties so what you'll see here we'll go home everything you need to know is in the content browser our course policies, including our syllabus, which is course information, the grading criteria for all major assignments in the course, writing discussions netiquette for those of you who may have been away from online discussion forums for a few years, and a professionalism statement. So all of these things I expect you to read and know, and we'll talk about them further the first week of class. So go back home. And let's look at major assignment guidelines. There are three major assignments for this summer course in digital rhetoric. The first is a two-part assignment that will be due week two and week six. That's blogging. The second assignment is a midterm essay exam, which is week four. And then, of course, we have our final paper in which you prove and demonstrate that you have indeed learned a great deal in this class and can apply it to other professional practices. You click on Major Assignment Guidelines, you'll come up with an HTML document that gives you all the information that you need to know about each assignment. If we go back to the Table of Contents, you will see that for each week we have discussions. To get to a discussion, you can either click on the table of contents, click the week, and click on the actual discussion itself. For each discussion, I have a chapter in our text that you need to read, the topic we'll be discussing, as well as what you are supposed to do and what you'll learn after you successfully complete the module. For each week, we have a module. We also have library content, tech questions, and I'd like to remind you here that I cannot diagnose your tech issues, but this is just a forum for you to get feedback from me and from your course mates about general issues that you may have, and then I might refer you to IT. I also have a section in the content table of contents for conference and publication opportunities. As these become available, I will post them in this space for you. Going back to the course home, one of the best ways for you to keep up with what's going on in our course is to follow the news feed. I post every day on the news feed. I post articles of interest. I post supplemental resources. I post things that have been forwarded to me from colleagues that might be of interest to graduate students. So check the news item, that the news feed. That's a really good thing to know um, in terms of where you are in the class, where you know what's going on, what all that kind of stuff. So just news. Calendar is where you will find due dates for all of our major assignments. Where do I turn in assignments? Turn in assignments in the Dropbox, just like other courses that you've had at Kennesaw State University. You see the due date again here, 
click, and then you submit. If you have any questions about how to do that, I'm happy to talk with you and help you out if this is your first and or second time uh, at KSU or if you just need a refresher. So again, we're going through all the different weeks to see everything that we need. We have two textbooks for this course. Where would I find textbooks? Course policies. Course information. You have learning objectives for our course. Major assignments, which are always due at 11.59 p.m. on the due date via D2L Dropbox. Our discussion forums, which count 20% of your grade. Ah, required textbooks. These are two required textbooks for you. I do require that you buy the correct edition. The Hawks and, and Kendrick book from the MIT Press, there's only one edition of that. And the Henry Jenkins book, there is uh, only one edition of that that I'm aware of, although there might be a newer edition. Please buy the 2013 edition. I don't have a preference as to where you buy your books. If you choose to buy them in the bookstore, that's great. You may also choose to buy them in online spaces, either new or used. So you'll also see my contact information here. I respond to email. If you have an IDC 6175 question, please use our D2L course module email. I monitor the course during the day until 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I usually am able to answer emails same day, but standard protocol states that I may take up to 24 hours to give you a response. My office is J348 if you'd like to come see me in person. And here is my KSU email for non-course related questions. If you would like to meet with me via phone call or in person at any time during the semester, I'm happy to meet with you. I just ask that you email and schedule ahead of time, either face-to-face -face or phone conference. And yes, an appointment is necessary because I teach face-to-face -face courses as well. And I'd like to make sure that I have time to address issues that you need to discuss with me. So I want to make sure you make an appointment so I have that time blocked off for you. So you can go through the course policies and see that our course is eight weeks long. Uh, they begin on Monday, our weeks do, and conclude on Sunday. The last official day is July 10th. And each Monday, the week's instructions are posted. You must log on by Thursdays, 11.59 p.m. to review the material, post your initial response to discussions, and fulfill our attendance requirement Per the course policies. So again, I'll have you take a look at that and then the first week when we meet in cyberspace, I will answer any questions that you have about those policies. That's about it. I do have one request. If you have not done so yet, please upload a nice photo of yourself so that when we are communicating via D2L and in discussion forums, your course mates and your professor will know who we're to whom we're speaking and also have a nice representation of you as opposed to just an amorphous gray character. Again, if you have any questions, please hit me up on the D2L email, which you can find up here, right there. And if you have questions beforehand, um, you can contact me at my email, genie underscore bohannon at kennesaw.edu. I look forward to spending the summer with you and having a productive time learning about digital rhetorics.